day. From Mills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Taking on Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers. Now they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you look inside a Bills stadium in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Los Angeles Chargers. And we are underway in Buffalo. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield. First down, Justin Herbert got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. From the 29, Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. Test. Two plays in. This is third and two. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive. Couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? offense and defense in this case one capitalized and the other as you said had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done some tough running but it only gets him to the 45 tackle made there by matt milano no doubt about it a really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter but that means your defensive ends your outside linebackers the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 42. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Open man is Palmer. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. No gain on the play there. Second down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. 
Williams brings it in. And they'll get this down to the 10. No score after one on EA Sports. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second, and finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. That comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5", that's Josh Allen. And his task in this situation is making sure that his team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you gotta attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've gotta move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Throwing his Allen on third. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Here's Herbert. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw here. Herbert. Slant route going to be caught by Palmer. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Excellent. 
extra point. Good by Hopkins. And it's now 14 to nothing. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Throwing on second and three. Allen, he's got the connection to Cole Beasley. Takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills draw a bit closer. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Extra point attempt to come here. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. The Chargers ready to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, it's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From the 50, here's Herbert. Forced out to his left. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Singletary to get the drive started. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. From the 27, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. Now it's Allen. 
Going deep for Diggs. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to drop. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. And the Chargers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, want well, to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. one to Singletary that he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up on play action Allen he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28 I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Joey Bosa in on the stop. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Singletary again. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Allen now looks to throw. 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll try to run with Breda, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breda, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this ball game here in the final moments of the third quarter. Oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3 4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3 4 5 between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Roberts electing not to try it, and this will come out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Eight yards to go on second down. Out of the gun, Herbert. And this is caught for the ground. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. That catch good for five. It's third down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. 50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. On second down, Eckler. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, boy, this sets up for a huge call now on fourth down because you can try the long field goal, you could go for it, or you could punt and play for overtime. I am so glad, partner, that I don't have to make those kind of decisions. Let's see what they decide. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? 
Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Here's Allen. And this is caught by Beasley. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Allen. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes. It's a catch. That is and all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 82 yards, and the Bills have taken the lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Herbert and the Chargers down 21-14. A little over a minute to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Herbert going to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. They'll run on first down with Moss. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll go again here with Moss. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Watch 
Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long.